Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy, and today is our Wednesday prayer day, and I encourage you to send in your prayer request uh, where we have special prayer for them on, on Wednesdays and also on Sunday. Now, I also will tell you that if uh, you have a emergency prayer request, send it at any time, and I can mention it here uh, in our in in the video on any day uh, but before we get into our prayer request and prayer uh, I want us to get into the Word of God and we read from Matthew's Gospel chapter 14 and verse uh, 23 about Jesus and his prayer life where Matthew records and when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. Now, in Jesus' ministry, there's when you look at it, he was very, very busy. He had a busy schedule. He... Uh, healing people, preaching, uh, teaching, traveling, and yet Jesus always had time to pray. And you know why he had time to pray? He made time to pray. And uh, that excuse, well, I don't have time to pray, no, you don't make time to pray. Uh, you make time to eat, you make time to do everything else, you got to make time to pray. Uh, Jesus' life was a life of prayer. And remember, Jesus is God in the flesh. And he set the example for us to, to follow. I mean, two of Jesus' most famous prayers. John 17, the great high priestly prayer. Uh, and then later his prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane were all prayed during a time of great distress on the eve of his crucifixion. Jesus found time to pray, and we must find time to pray. Uh, I think the great sin of American Christians today is prayerlessness. And we need to look back to our Lord and Savior as an example on how that we are to be prayer warriors. And it's not just a handful of people who are to be prayer warriors, a special select. But we're all, if you're a believer in Christ, to have a life of prayer. And believe me, your flesh will fight against it. But we must make time for prayer. Amen. Uh, we do come to our prayer request time at this moment. And uh, before we go into our time of prayer and our prayer over these uh, requests, let's just take a moment of silence to collect our thoughts and focus our thoughts on nothing but our Lord God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of all ages. Make us, O Lord, worthy to say thankfully, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. O oh Lord, I ask these prayers according to 
uh, the model prayer that I just prayed, Lord, the, the Lord's prayer that you, Lord, taught your disciples to pray. May all these requests and everything that I asked be in accord with that model of prayer. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer request today, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, the great physician and our healer, Reach out, I ask you, and pour your healing power on the father and mother of Hong. Hong asks that, uh, Lord, for the healing for her parents. And Lord God, I ask that you give your healing to the parents of Hong today. Lord, I also upon Miss Patsy Hartley, God, I ask you to reach down and heal her right lung that is hurting her. Uh, and uh, help the doctors find out what is wrong. Lord God, just cure her. Touch her, Lord, with your power. And I also ask that you make her husband, Travis, uh, who is sick. I ask you make him well, Lord God. Uh, just bring him back to health. I also, Lord, asked you to give Alice your strength. She says she's been feeling bad in the mornings. And I ask, Lord, that you strengthen her with the power that only you can give God and uplift her. Be with Miss Patsy Renfro who will be having a skin cancer removed this Friday. Give her complete healing of this growth, Lord, as the doctor removes it. I also ask you, Lord, to make well Sister Shirley, who's also known here on YouTube as Millview Gal. Lord, she broke a bone after she fell on some ice. Oh, Lord God, I ask, Lord, that you uh, give her healing and give her just your complete healing, Lord, upon her leg. I, I, I plead with you also, dear God, to restore the health of Mr. Patterson, who has fluid around his lung and heart. You, Lord God, will uh, reach down even now with your healing. I ask you, God, to cure less who has lung cancer. And I pray for a miracle, dear God, a miracle of healing in his life to take away the cancer and give him complete healing. For these sick folk, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, let your healing power flow through their bodies. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon them. I also ask you, Lord God, to meet the needs of Brother Jake and his family to bless them, keep them, and strengthen them in everything they do for you. Oh, Lord God, just bless them. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the shepherd of your church. And I ask for your, uh, your, your watch care, your blessings, your power, and your strength upon Cedardale Baptist Church. And also, Hill Memorial Baptist Church. That, Lord, that these churches will uh, be empowered by you to fulfill the Great Commission and to spread, uh, Lord, the, the good news of the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and of salvation in Him. Also lift up a, 
a missionary in India, Lord, who needs a car for his mission work. Dear God, please provide that for him, that he can uh, do your work. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, bless your churches and the mission work of your churches. I especially ask for your protection on your persecuted churches throughout the world. Upon Miss Aja Bibi, who faces a death sentence in Pakistan, that you will uh, give her freedom and protect her and her family. I also lift up you, um, Mr. Saad Musa, who is in a prison in Afghanistan, that you will free him, God. Give him liberty and protect him from his persecutors. Also, Lord God, be with Pastor Yusuf in Iran, who's facing a death sentence, that you, Lord God, uh, will free him and protect him and be with the churches in Iran. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon all these requests. Bless our persecuted brothers and sisters. Be with your churches. Be with your people. Be with those who are sick and who need your help. And bless all that have been mentioned here Today, I ask you, O Master, Lord God, the Almighty, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for every condition, concerning every condition, and in every condition, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto you, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, Grant these requests today. Lord, take away from us all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked people, and the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil by the grace, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ through whom the glory, the honor, the dominion, and the adoration are due unto you with him and the Holy Spirit, the life giver who is of one essence with you now and at all times, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen and amen. God bless you all.